game. <gasps> wow. Brutal weather simulated. Brutal weather. 11-12? We just missed it by a minute, Grant! We could have made a wish. Oh. Now we have to make a nightmare. All right, well, my nightmare is all of your fingernails have started growing the other direction. The other direction? I was just going to say that. Yeah. Okay. So, now, so that's mine. So what's yours? Uh, Mine is that your eyelids are inverted and you can't flip them back over. Ah. I had, like, there were friends that could, like, do that. And I don't I don't yeah. remember if they did it, like, naturally or, like, they had to put their fingers up. I just remember being disgusted say, I, by, I, like, I've definitely done eyelid. it before, but I have to use my fingers. I can't, like, just make yeah, my I, I, I can't. I can't do it, and it scares me. I don't like it. What are you doing? Can you... What the fuck are you doing? Wiggle your ears. Is that a thing you have the capability to do? I cannot wiggle my ears. Okay. I get very jealous of people that can do things like that. I, I get can, very angry. I can move my ears a little bit. I, I noticed it because it's like if I would raise my eyebrows really high, I could also feel my ears moving like when I do that. Yeah, like I can, like the, those are all connected. And, I can, like, and kind so of like, and then I kind of started learning how to move that. just the ear part and not my brow. And that was and that was how I started doing that. That's cool. The like, I'm, like I'm sitting here grabbing my ears, trying to move the ear part, and they're they're too connected. Like it probably like it it probably in my you know, I haven't done it in front of a mirror since I was 13. So maybe it just looks like I'm raising my eyebrows, and to me I'm just like, no, I'm just moving my ears. I feel it. Uh, I can do those silly little tongue tricks though. I can do like ooh, the little. You can, like, can you make like a like the a, little. The, I, the clovery thing? I, I, I haven't done it in a minute, like but I like used to be able like to do a, it. Like, I little, feel like I'm doing straw. it with my lips more than my tongue, so I feel like it doesn't count. But I feel like, yeah, I can make like the loop with my tongue or whatever. Yeah, I can like do that, that pretty easily like little, with like, just my, my U, tongue. Basically a closed U, essentially. Yes, yeah. Um, but I can't do like, I feel like I've seen people able to do like almost like a W shape with their tongue, which seems crazy. Yeah, yeah, that thing, like yes. That, I, I, can't I do used that. to be able to do that. I haven't tried it in a minute. I wonder if I can do it. But like right now, I have uh, that song. <laughs> Great Oh my god, fucking sliding through it! Grant, get off the ammonia! I'm sorry, I've been huffing ammonia over here and everything just seems funny to me. I'm laughing at it all, at all of it. JB Hunt, that's a thing. JB Hunt? I know I've got the weird, like, elbow joint where it looks like I'm bending my arm too far back. You do have the weird elbow joint. Out, and I do it, it is scary. I do it subconsciously. But like, no, I understand. Like when I look up, when I look at it in a picture, I go, that looks messed up. Cause from my perspective, it does not look like I'm doing that. Like, when yeah. I, and when, like you would look at, if somebody drew a picture and the arm bent the way your no, yeah. arms like do, when I, when you'd I, be like, oh, like I said, that's when not when I see it in correct. videos and stuff afterwards, I'm like, oh, that does look unsettling and off putting. <laughs> <laughs> like I think I I think I definitely do it in our merch ad video. Yes, yeah, like, yeah, you do with the the shirt thing when you yeah, when you show like it off. And like every time I see that clip, I'm like, oh, that does look like that messes up my arm. But like, no, that's just me sticking that's out just my how arm. It goes. Yeah. No, I mean, whatever, man. It's it's a superpower. Maybe maybe you're gonna be stuck like, there in the I coffin, think it's just and you're gonna have to bend your from elbow. From my angle, from the angle of my head and my eyes, to me it looks straight. But like when I see it in a flat picture, it definitely looks like it's. Uh, <laughs> obtuse angle that I am bending my elbow in. Tyler tried gaslighting me to tell him, like, okay, so he took this picture of us at Oddities, right? Mm -hmm. And we're, like, angled in a way <laughs> where... I remember uh, you freaking out about this, and it was funny because <laughs> I was looking at the picture, and I was like, this looks normal to me. And so, I... Okay, because I need to, like, draw a fucking diagram, okay? I might send this to Ben so he can put it on the screen. Uh, it... It looks to me... Like, the, my right eyeball is drooping down. Like, if you've seen the little TikTok vine, well, Karen, ever whatever since the your fuck. Stroke, your stroke, half your face I know. has always Yeah, been my face just started, my eyeball just fucking melted well, down my head. Well, we put you in that one machine from the Casper movie where it, like, <gasps> melted him into a oh, ghost yeah. egg or whatever that was. And his face started dripping. That's just what yeah, happened to yeah, you. Yeah, 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 And he was like... Have, he's like, and I was like, what's wrong with this? It's like, is this like a weird illusion? You know, like those things where it's like, uh, these two lines are actually the same length, even though the one looks longer because yeah. it has a V on the outside instead of this one has like a, a an N the inside same it. Same length, but this one's stretched out or something. Uh, or like unwound. Yeah, 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 yeah. You, you get what I'm putting down. And I, so I was like, okay, maybe this is like a weird trick of the light. And I haven't like looked at it under a microscope or anything. 
uh, to really give it a gander, but he was like, Tyler's response made me so mad, where he was just like, Maybe you, you need to look, look at, at a mirror. mirror. I was like, <laughs> yeah. Fuck you! My right eye is not like a centimeter lower than my left eyeball. Look, Karen. Not everybody's like, uh, you know, what's the word I'm looking for? Uh, you know, same on both sides. Whatever you call it, I, uh, symmetrical. Yeah. I do love my gay symmetry, so you know. Yeah, yeah. You're, you're, you've, you've, you've got awkward, not the same. You, you've got a not. A heterosymmetry, I guess, because it's not hom homogenous. Homo, ho you are Homo you are not homogenous. It is not the same. It is hetero. It is different. Hetero, hetero, hetero. So you so you've actually got heterosymmetry. It's everyone else is gay. <laughs> <laughs> okay, thank you're you. You're the only straight one, Kieran. The rest but of I us don't want to be the straight one. <laughs> <laughs> Too bad. That's what makes you the perfect straight one. You understand? <laughs> it's a responsibility, not a privilege. <laughs> Shut the fuck <laughs> up. <laughs> Yeah, bi-symmetry. Bis bis symmetry. Bis symmetry. What was I watching recently where someone was like, I oh, it was, that's right, it was the first episode of Netflix Avatar. I don't want to be Avatar. That's why you should be. Ba -da -da -da. Dramatic lie. I don't want to, I don't, I don't even want to get into it. I'm not even going to ask no, you yeah, how it was. Yeah, hey, don't worry about it. I don't it. even want to talk about don't it. Don't worry about it. There's, there, that goes, Mo that conversation goes nowhere. Moving on. by symmetry Wow, look at that spoiler on that car. That reminds you of spoilers in fiction. <laughs> uh, spoiler alert. That car right there. Check it out. I don't think, is there anything? I don't think right now, like as far as things that have been widely released, I don't know if there's anything that I'd be like, oh, don't spoil me on that. Like, I don't think there's anything out right now that I would Jujutsu. have. Jujutsu. That's the only one I have. See, like, even even Jujutsu, I feel like you could tell me what's going on in the manga right now, and I'd be like, that sounds cool. It, it will not affect my enjoyment of it. Please don't do that, because Kieran doesn't want to be spoiled for things. Uh, I, like, that's the, I, people, like, always dog on me for this, too. Like, people that are very adamant about, like, oh, spoilers ruin everything. How can you have this position? Where it's like, I, I generally, I don't find spoilers to be the end mm -hmm. of the world. If I get spoiled on something, I generally still enjoy it. Um, and I appreciate There are things that I feel like I still like emotion. being surprised by, though. Like it's like, Oh, I, yeah. Surprise like, is a fun emotion, yeah. but I don't think it is the only thing. Correct. Th th that, the only thing that you can take away from fiction. Like, I think to reduce it to that uh, robs it of uh, everything that art does. IMO. Uh, and I think a lot of, you know, there's a lot of uh, studies on, like, oh, people that got spoiled on things enjoy them like just the more. same, if yeah. not more, because they can appreciate what happens they can brace themselves for things no there's definitely a layer see of the things the going on pieces coming into place when you know what the picture is going to be kind of it's thing. like watching the fucking i don't know the star wars prequels you know what the ending is it doesn't make it any less <laughs> wait fun. a minute this anakin guy turns bad he's gonna be darth vader what his fucking darth vader no it's part of the fun of prequels it's like you can, can you like, imagine oh, watching those and not guy. knowing he's darth vader i wonder what it's like to be that guy i I I swear it was probably staged. I don't believe I'm too much of a cynic to believe anything on the internet now that's mm -hmm. posted to be supposedly genuine. But someone yeah. did post a clip. It was like their kids watching Star Wars for the first time and like <gasps> showing like have like taping the the Vader reveal and yes. like the like you know the daughter sold it pretty well to where it might have been real. But I still just kind of. You know, my cold heart refuses to believe it's real. Yeah, there's no joy in this but, world anymore. But it was a very cute, her just going like, <gasps> like just a real like gasp. Uh, you know, That's if, good. If, if you didn't know that was the case, that shocking you does make sense. And she was like four. So like, it's not like she's on the internet seeing it. Yeah, um, I, I, that is one too that like, I, I appreciated being young enough to experience that blind yeah, I definitely Having was that too as a old kid by the time was, I saw Star Wars that I'd already had Muppet Babies or something do a Luke, I am your father <laughs> Muppet bit. Babies did it, and you said, oh, I am your father. That must be referencing Star Darth Wars. Vader from Star Wars. Well, you know, someone dressed up as Darth Vader and a character, another character holding a lightsaber, and them going, oh, Luke. Oh, were they Star Wars Muppet Babies? I am your father. Yeah. Well, dude, did well, you watch Muppet Babies? It was an incredibly no! referential show. 
I didn't watch the it. The whole intro is them flying around in Star Wars things. And I don't even know who wise. owns Muppets. That could be the, at that point. It was a Lucas thing, so it was a lot of Star Wars and Indiana Jones parodies. I got no idea, dude. What channel is that shit on? I don't know. Uh, Fox Kids probably. Oh, I did watch Fox Kids. I I don't know. I guess I never saw it. I. I was going to say, it might have also been on Nickelodeon at some point, but I might be making that up. Yeah. And also, I pulled Muppet Babies out of the ether. I didn't really watch much Muppet Babies, but I do know for a fact that it did reference those things a lot from seeing stuff from it in later years. But it was probably Tiny Toons. For being real, Tiny Toons or Animaniacs <gasps> Tiny Toon probably Adventures told me da, 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 da. about Darth Vader. Who the fuck? Whoa, whoa, whoa! Party foul on the freeway who? on the 242. I don't even know. They and we'll never know like who a, it like is. A, They'll like get a away phantom. with it. They're, they've they've speared it away. Ghost car strikes again. It's freaking Wonder Woman in her invisible minivan. Anyway, here's and Wonder Woman. And she's drunk again. Okay, I don't like the fact that this whole road is yellow. Implying that we've been here, and I feel like I'm seeing some spots oh, like I remember, but I don't. I don't or, know. Oh, like from a. Well, no, just like I've already. Any yellow road on the GPS is a road you've already travailed. Mm. Hold uh, the. Whoa, 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 do whoa, whoa, you whoa, see whoa, this? whoa, 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 buddy. Do you know what I have? Do you know what hellfire will would be unleashed <laughs> if you hit the gas of iota more? Hold on, is ammonia flam flammable? Flammable. Flammable. Flambe. That's what uh, Sanji says. He goes, Flambe. 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 And then he kicks with his on fire legs uh, that get on fire somehow, catch, even though I don't think fire he's leg. magic. He has no magic. I don't understand how his legs are on fire. Please don't, don't tell me. Please don't I don't spoil. Wanna, it's not fucking real. Please don't spoil the fact that Sanji is a genie to Kieran. <laughs> and his full, Sanji. I was going to say his full name is Sanjini. <laughs> <laughs> Ammonia is also also flammable at concentrations of approximately 15% to 28% by volume in air. Uh, we have a shit ton of it, so I think it's enough for that. When mixed with lubricating oils, its flammable Dude, concentration lube? range is increased. Uh, yeah, I've got this Wait, ammonia, so lube, ammonia babe. lube. You're really going to love this. Is ammonia what they put on, like, no, what it, uh, ether, right? That's the, 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 the drug rag. Yes. Isn't it? Yeah, is it ammonia? Yeah, yes. I think I think it's this this. But is that ether e covered rag? What is, is ether that? Ether and ammonia the same thing? Is that an ammonian ethanol? Um, eth <laughs> yeah, ethanol. <laughs> they just rub corn on you. <laughs> Look, man, I'm no yeah, chemist. Chloroform. Right. Chlora something. Chlor fuck. Chloroform is definitely the knockout drug. Chloroform That's the, is the yeah. Because that was the the fucked up joke I heard for the best pickup line is does this smell like ammonia to you? And I was just like, nope, that's, that's, you don't do that. No, it does not smell like ammonia to you. Or, or, or not uh, chloroform. Uh-huh, so what? See, I already I ruined it. I already, ruined, you already it ruined it. Taking it back. You know what? Cancel everything I just said. Didn't happen. You, no, nobody okay. heard nothing. Chlorine. It cleans Ether's your pools. Ether's what they give you for an anesthetic. Isn't it like anis? It's an like A-N-A-E-S- T H E S I A, isn't it? Anesthesia. Anesthesia? Not Anastasia. That's yeah, a different. Anastasia. That's a different one. The, yeah, I've seen that movie. I was, I wasn't allergic to anesthesia, but I was. That's allergic. gotta be horrifying. I was allergic to, so when I had my back surgery when I was oh like God, thirteen. Oh it was gonna be like a really lengthy, like it was gonna be like a sixteen-hour operation. So it was something where like. They oh, needed no. to like keep my eyes moist because <laughs> because like I was going to be under for so long or something like it was gonna like mess up like oh I thought because like, they'd have your eyes pried open no it's yeah like, no yeah it's like this they thing. gotta go through your eyes to get to your back well I think it was a thing where like they had to like put an adhesive on my eyelids to keep them closed to like protect my eyes or something I all I know is they had to put something on my eyes because I was going to be put under for so long. And that was what I was allergic to. And they found out after because my face swelled up after the surgery <laughs> oh, and no. I was seeing double for a day <laughs> because my <laughs> eyes were bloated and cross-eyed. Oh, that's great. Yeah, I. there were no photos of me, unfortunately, so I didn't get to see it. But my mom was like, no, like your eyes, like you looked like a frog. They were like 
bugging out of your head. It was really uncomfortable to look at you. For you looked day. like a frog, and if you had a and if uh, you ever uh, ate you their were, legs, you would know. Ever, yeah, and if you ever had a really good friend, you you would let them eat your frog leg. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. See, and then we'd be amputated, and then I'd be part frog, and it would be fine. I was infatuated with Toad from X Men, which I look oh. back on, and I'm like, why? I don't, I couldn't tell you, but I think I just like that he sat weird, and everywhere I went, I wanted to sit like Toad. Hold on. What is so toad? I did. X-Men Toad. He just, like, he like in the cartoon? Like was there like a specific? No, like in the, in the live action movie, because he's fucking Ray Park. He's Darth Maul. Oh. What happens to a Toad in the lightning storm? Yeah, no, I, I, I remember that, but the same thing that happens to everything else. Whoa. Yeah, and then, uh, but he like sat funny and i think just i'm looking maybe, up images like, of toad from the x-men uh, movie to see if i can see a picture of him like a, a nine or ten year old i was just like i want to oh, okay gonna sit yeah like yeah toad like everywhere the, the, I the go. goofy like kind I'm of frog sitting style yeah i'm gonna jump around like him Not, i had a lot of okay. phases where i was convinced i had superpowers i think every kid does every fun kid does but they Sorry. lasted for like a long time like i oh uh, like like yesterday <laughs> <laughs> okay maybe that's a little different Look at this pretty nature, dude. Look at that. Isn't that yeah. crazy that it's all fake? Are these what? Mm, never mind. These are. <gasps> That's two percent ammonia. And nobody damage. was hurt. Two percent ammonia. Two percent ammonia. Nobody was hurt. Nobody was hurt. Nobody was hurt. Nobody was hurt. Why can I not turn on the ice roads on the on the rain on the slick? It's raining like every fucking minute, and I know I turned the rain up. Because you turned God. on brutal weather mods, and this is the brutal weather. Is this what it's like to drive a truck in the rain? I thought when you had more weight on your tires, it was easier for you to avoid sliding. Yeah, because gravity's pulling you more towards the ground than water is slipping you off the road. Pretty sure that's how science works. That's how science works. What is this little, little, little podunk pit stop? I was about to ask you, can you imagine living in like a tiny little town and then I was gonna be like, oh. Uh, actually I can. I can <laughs> feel like I can imagine it quite vividly. I could almost imagine 25 years worth of memories from such an existence. Man, I do like, I wanna go further west or north or something cause like, look at the Fun, cool little mountains, man. I just want to travel. And Dude, see uh, going to cool Arizona shit. was a real good trip. I like that. That was, was so fun. That was a, uh, um, like something that I did not expect to enjoy as much as I did. Oh wait, you mean your? Arizona yeah, my trip. Arizona trip. I was confused. You didn't go you, to. You didn't I was go confused to... when you went. That was so fun because I was like, you weren't there. <laughs> no, you didn't go to uh, the Phoenix Comic Con or whatever the fuck with me. No, I did not do that. Yeah, that was fun. We went to. Like Flagstaff, Arizona, this really little town, but it had like a observatory where they apparently discovered Pluto, and I really liked that's like a, cool. a fun little marketing thing. But just like they had like a little donation jar, they're like throw a dollar in here if you think Pluto's still a planet. And I was like, that's hell yeah! Cute. I got this really cute little bracelet with all these colored rocks that are all arranged like all the planets, and then on the back of it, there's a little one for Pluto. And nice, that makes me happy. It'll like that. All that'll be one of those things that I don't think my mind will ever fully like autopilot except like after it's I not real like after i think about it, i'm like oh yeah people do not refer to pluto as a planet anymore but like i will always think of our nine planet solar system <laughs> like that's just how my head will always yeah, think of planet it. x nope nibiru no planet elliptical x orbit thirty-two thousand I... years no it's pluto that's the ninth one planet no, x it's not it's, it's x because it's the tenth one it's X because it's afraid of seven. <laughs> it's seven, eight, the ninth planet. Ah! <laughs> All I'm saying is that I believe in Pluto still. And well, so, see, it used so to be you. the ninth planet uh, in the solar system, but now it's just the X, ninth planet. <laughs> yeah, now it's planet IX. Also, my favorite Sailor Guardian. I think that's that, that's a good answer. Blue, Blue, Jupiter was my favorite one. Pluto is the bad guy. No, no, Pluto. Who's Pluto? Popeye's is villain. Popeye's uh, nemesis, nemesis, which is how uh, idiots say that word. Has anything 
used the Nemesis system since those Shadows of Mordor No, game. because it's copyrighted! Then they should make... They uh-huh! Sh they, sh they shouldn't have done that. They should have let yeah. other things use that. It's the worst thing ever! Like, you... Okay. You you, you, you activate... You hit a no, button. No, go for it. Right? Go for it. I'm uh, glad. Go on your tangent, man. Okay, because cause my whole... You know, you activated my game to... Yes, break. please. Because I've, been, I've been playing Dragon's Dogma, and I've thought a lot about the Nemesis system, how it could have worked in that, and how great it could have been. Please go on. Yeah, you cannot copyright game mechanics. <laughs> like, you cannot copyright notes. You cannot copyright an ingredient to a thing. Like... Everything, com the combination of them is what is your intellectual property, yes. right? Um, so they people have tried to do this, and for a long time, they will ostensibly get away with calling a thing a name. They will kind of like strong arm it. Like, like now, this know, concept belongs to us because it has enough a title. of this concept belongs to us because we named it. Well, there it. was like the thing where, like, didn't Namco or someone have like the supposed rule over being able to put mini games uh, the, in the loading, loading screen, screen mini games yeah. yes uh and that uh because it was so specific it's so combinatorial that like you could argue that it's like unique enough but like you can't trademark jumping you can't trademark uh, a, sh a first person shooting like you could have tried to though but like and this was back in the day where after doom everything was called a doom, doom clone. clone we did yeah. not have first, first person, person shooter yeah, first person shooter didn't exist yet that's just like uh, i still think I, like I still think in terms of Smash clones, where platform fighter has become yeah, a term. platform fighter is like still I don't think people call it that yet, even though I think it's a good name for it. Yeah. Um, and like Metroidvania, everybody argues about Metroidvania and a, and a Souls like yes, and a yeah. Souls born, whatever the fuck. Yeah, I would um, still another good example of like people like putting it up to names, and I think with enough maturity, we will come up with better names that will be applicable, like first person shooter. It's hard though because it's so simple. Like first person shooter is so simple. How do you describe hard boss and then you die and you have a checkpoint and then you go to the checkpoint and you get the thing that you dropped and you know that's a lot to crunch into like three words like, yeah like a a concept uh, that envelops all that yeah so I, I get why people do that and honestly language evolves them and blah 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 I don't really care um point being uh so nemesis system is uh is copyrighted trademark whatever the fuck um because of it's every permutation that they have for it so it's like if you have a uh, an echelon of enemies that are tiered in low to high, and the lowest guys can sometimes kill the tall guys, and the tall guys is your order to the guys below them, and you kill guys in the hierarchy and take over the hierarchy, and people fill in the like the the spots, like yeah. the the network tree is part of it, and also if they remember you and they remember a thing and they say it and ba da ba like that is they, what is copyrighted. They call attention um, to the thing you did. Yeah, like the whole thing about it, the persistent memory of how it all happened, but 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 most importantly, it's the only fucking unique thing they have for that fucking Arkham clone <laughs> game. So they they cling on to that like it's a fucking uh, their last uh, dying wish, and uh, it pisses me the fuck off because Warner Brothers can strong arm courts, but I think a lot of people could get around implementing some parts of that system, but everybody's like just not doing it. It's kind of like a uh, Wizards had a patent. They tried to trademark the concept of a trading card game, uh, and then that <laughs> fell through. Uh, I'm just trying to imagine fucked. the world that would have created. Yeah, and fuck that. Uh, but they did try. They did essentially copyright the term tapping, referring to turning a thing 90 degrees, and like the little. The, they tried to get away with that, and they kind of did for a long time. But that has now expired. You can call it tapping if you want to, but most people don't just because. Uh, and they have like a little symbol. You can't use that symbol. You can't call it tapping, and you can't turn it 90 degrees. Like all those things together is what they own. Right. So the nemesis system is like all of it, right? You could have a hierarchy of bad guys. You could have bad guys that die and replace each other and shit. You could have bad guys that remember how you killed them. But if you try to have all of them, Warner might try to strong arm some court thing. But I still think people would get away with some level of a uh, fair use for it if they tried. But people just don't want to fucking deal with it because what's a fucking Johnny Indie dev going to do against fucking Warner lawyers? So it's like... It's just strong arm people doing shit to inhibit growth in video games, and I fucking hate it. Because if, like, if uh, id put uh, copyrighted first person shooters, we wouldn't have fucking anything. You know? Like, I, I hate this shit. I don't think you should be able to trademark game mechanics. Let people fucking do shit. Yeah. Anyways, that's my rant. Okay. Well, thank you. I, you know, I, I agree. Ditto, <laughs> says Grant. Because, <laughs> um, yeah, well, I. Maybe what I'm thinking isn't even really like something that is copyrighted, protected for them. 
because I've just been thinking of it in terms with, uh, so I've been playing a lot of Dragon's Dogma lately, and that whole game kind of revolves around the pawns, and their whole, like, mm -hmm. conceit is, like, we're going to make our game very obtuse. We're not going to tell you how to do things, and when we give you a waypoint, it's going to be, like, kind of vague and, like, that stuff, and the idea is your pawn playing with other people will learn what to do and bring that information to you, and basically the idea of it is to, you know, make give you waypoints but make it feel more natural make it less mm -hmm. like here's just a dot on the screen for you to walk towards stare at your mini map don't look at the actual game and instead your party members will go hey arisen i think i know something about this follow me and you're now following yeah. a person instead so it feels more engaging it feels like you're more that, that in the yeah world i like that a lot that's cool um but what i was thinking was like if they could like have gotten some level of nemesis system in it where like your pawn would remember like because they can also do stuff like hey, the griffin, if you set its wings on fire, it can't fly away anymore. And so they might go, Arisen, use wi use flame to keep it from running kind of thing. Mm -hmm. uh, but, like, I think it would be way more fun if, like, they had a level of nemesis system thing where it's, like, your pawn has died to this griffin because it threw him off a cliff or something. So it would have some layer of, like, oh, this motherfucker. Don't let him grab you. He'll throw you kind of thing. Like, I don't know. I think they could, I think they could do that. Okay. Uh, and it would not... It would not be infringing what the nemesis system is. Okay. Um, but uh, that just sounds like a lot of effort. Yes. Yeah. No. <laughs> it might, it, it might just be it. way more work, which you know, <laughs> fair enough. Uh, <laughs> game already kind of struggles under its own weight, so maybe I'm asking way too much. Yeah. But it's just one of those things where I feel like they could have personalized it a lot more, and like at least in like my very vague memory of this, what like tw ten year old game at this point now probably. Um, is just like the the cool thing that about the nemesis system was just how it was like I felt like these bad guys remembered me when I found when mm -hmm. I fought them again. Yes, that is that's a really fun part. Uh, and and like and I liked that idea. And I feel like you could use that concept and it not infringing on the nemesis system specifically. But I don't. But I'm yeah, no you, lawyer. You, you, you I'm you not could. here to defend nor attack on anyone's legal team to be able to stand on any kind of educated stance. I'm just like the part of me, the part of me that liked that was just that it felt like this thing remembered me and responded to how I interacted with it later. Uh, I mean, Undertale is that's that whole game. Like you can like that true. element of it is like a, a bunch of like a bunch of things do that. Uh, a lot of fourth wall breaky uh, things have been doing that lately. But you could totally have systems that do shit like that, and it's that's you know, not not stepping on anybody's toes. That's a pretty open system. Yeah. Like, Waystation, why don't you fucking weigh these? Fat we gotta nuts. weigh this Doctor ammonia. With this ammonia, we, we heard you got bumped on the road, and Wait. We, we see you've lost two percent of your this ammonia. This is the worst fucking one. I gotta turn all the oh, way over here. Oh baby, it's all the way over. It's not gonna hit anything. Hell yeah. Piece of shit. Oh, you missed two percent ammonia. Hmm. So I guess you gone. got. I guess you got uh, what, what? What am I? What am I? Uh, what am I smuggling? Uh, now you've got two percent of helium in there. Wait a minute! You're making your, you're making your tractor lighter. <laughs> I'm gonna fly to fucking Utah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Ha! Huh, oh, like I'm trying to think. Like, it, would that be a scam that could work? Like, we're, you know, we're about to be shipping a bunch of packages here shortly, and a lot of that's going to be like, you know, we're gonna be charged by how much they weigh. Could we be dumping helium in there to... to what <laughs> weighs less, a ton of ammonia or a ton of helium? Yeah. I'm flying! <laughs> <laughs> yeah, this pound of feathers versus this pound of helium. <laughs> what What's going to help this balloon fly more? I'm just asking if that's like a scheme anyone's pulled. Like, we've got this, you know, this airtight tank of X amount of fluid but I injected something in it that is lighter than air, so is it weighing less for my weigh station weigh-in type thing? Mm, I think it's a gas right now. Okay. I think? I don't know. I mean, well, no, I think it'd have to be a liquid. Like, I don't know, like, I don't know how this works. Don't I, I'm me. not a chemist or a scientist in any degree. I am here just Me neither. I didn't pay attention games. to that one. Uh, I remember my chemistry teacher laughing about string theory, and I... I I, I fuck with uh, his approach a lot. He was like, 
String theory is so stupid. If string theory was real, if I kept slapping my hand against this desk, eventually my hand would go through it because the vibration of the atoms would perfectly <laughs> line up where the lattice would intersect yeah, but, and I could pass through it. But it's just it. you, you need to be doing it for a billion years and no one can do it for that long. Or it could happen randomly. <laughs> yes, okay. It could, but it's just an astronomically small chance and that's the problem. Mm -hmm. Like it's the... It's and the, where do you think the missing 411 of America go, Grant? Like, it's the it's the issue of, you know, just the whole, like... Excuse me, excuse me. With excuse me. enough time, anything can happen just because oh, of thread that Do you chance. see that? that oh, was, that, was that was beautiful. So, that was an expert. That was so... Expert I think that deserves a round of applause. Thank you. Thank you. But, yeah. I, uh, you, you know, it's just that we don't have enough time to properly test this, uh without running, you know, multiple simulations at once. Without running a simulation of a universe? Yeah. Without simulating an entire universe, which our computers just can't do yet. Because mm -hmm. they have some sort of limit. We can't, just, we just, that we just can't pass. <gasps> There's a, they got the in and out sign and everything. Wow. I, I hate, I think in and out's overrated and I think I agree with you. Would you, okay, mm -hmm. gun to your head, in and out burger, cricket burger. Cricket burger, Gordon Ramsay, in and out burger. <laughs> I, I mean, for the experience alone, I'd have to do the Gordon Ramsay cricket burger. But I'd take okay. that over a burger I like just because it's like, when am I going to get this again type thing? When am I going to have this opportunity? <laughs> See, that's going to be the problem. That's going to be the issue. If the, the Biden cricket burger becomes mainstay and everywhere, then that defeats yeah. my motivation to try it. Because if it's, if it's readily available at all times, like, the only thing that's going to get me to try a cricket burger is the illusion of, well, you're never going to get this chance again. So you should take it now. Uh, I don't. Yeah, I think that's not uh, ever going to be the case. Yeah, and so if if it's going to be a thing where it's going to be like, well, we've realized the catastrophic effect that you know, uh, like cow farms have had on the ozone layer or whatever. Uh, mm -hmm. So we have to just change all beef products into cricket products. Um, yeah, now we're going to start milking crickets, and then you're, they're going to start farting, and then we're going to have 10 billion cricket farts. Yeah, yeah, and now the cricket <laughs> farts are ripping a hole in the ozone because we've, you know, because in order to keep up with demand, we've had to size up our crickets to the size of cows. <laughs> the size of cows. We now, we now have <laughs> two-ton crickets roaming the plains, uh, and when those things start swarming, you'd better run. Because they Dude, can fly. Holy shit. <laughs> yeah, that's the thing was like, I think what makes, I love bugs. If they were any bigger, I think I, I would hate them. Well, I mean, that's basically I don't crabs know. and lobsters, and you love eating those guys. But I think they're, okay, well, all right. If I saw a crab as big as a dog, yeah, I think I'd be yeah. afraid. Dog-sized crab. You, you start, <laughs> you get a little nervous. Even Kieran, who won't crush a bug and thinks all life is precious, would start getting I a do. little squeamish at that creature. I literally stopped to flip over June bugs at our doorstep that are stuck up upside down. Yeah, see, that's like a, look, I think I'm a pretty empathetic person. And I, you know, like, I say that. <laughs> Clearly you're fucking not, you piece yeah, of shit. Yeah. You suck. Yeah, I, you should up your empathy, I, you I fucking gonna say, And I say that <laughs> with a lot of evidence to the contrary. Um, yeah, you fucking <laughs> idiot. You don't have any empathy. You fucking get good. But I definitely <laughs> have never had much empathy for bugs. Like, rodents like i don't think like nah. like we had we had rats in our house uh for like a, a while like that was a problem we were having a few years ago and i feel like i still would not be able to like you know like push come to shove you've got a bat in your hand grant kill that rat i don't think i could i would feel guilty i would feel uncomfortable about I it. i think if the rat was attacking you you would yeah if it was in, in defense fury. i think i could but i don't think if it was just a rat scurrying away i would or like no. it, like scared in a corner i would not be able to kill it and like, and I thought of them as a Why pest, and I wanted them out of my house. It's just a little rat. But like, I would feel dude. uncomfortable killing a rat because, like, it's like even One just you know out, outside of the whole thing of like all life being precious or whatever. But like, I've whatever. I've had hamsters, and they would be too close to that. <gasps> nice. That's why we don't make those maneuvers, Karen. That's why we don't do that. <laughs> We're good. We're fine. Okay, so maybe don't pass on a on a undotted uh, yeah. uh two two lane highway in the fog when you can't see like five feet in front of you. Yeah, it might be a little scary when everything just looks like a a monochrome painting. Yeah, but did you see me dodge that though? That could we could have died. 
And, and you didn't. We're here. And We're did. still alive. And we passed that idiot. And now I can't see anything. And I but guarantee you, there's going to be a jump. Oh, my God. There's going to be a jump scare <laughs> like there. Of, su of just some brake lights up in the distance. And uh, well, I can't wait I for us to find it. out we haven't been on road for like a minute and a half oh, at some here. point. Okay, this, this angle's pretty good. Yeah. Here, that, this. It's not I'll too I'll just stick noisy. my head out the fucking sunroof. Fucking skibbity truck over here. It's just such a dense fog. Have you ever had to pull over because it was too foggy to drive? So, uh yeah, uh, up in Ohio that would yeah, happen was, in the morning was, driving the that, driving that, to places. That used to happen to me. I haven't had it in a while, but yeah, that is distinctly an Ohio problem. I feel like there's oh, got to be neutral. plenty of like coastal cities. Oh where yeah, there's like other places that uh um it would happen sometimes in a like in, in Pensacola too. Uh yeah, north northern cities where it gets really cold uh too. I feel like it happened in Boston when we stayed there for um I know we had the huge uh, snowstorm on our way to Boston. Yeah, the blizzard that... That, uh, that you bravely that, drove the van Yeah, through. that I braved through. Because, yeah, that, that was one where, like, I'm already a very timid, scared driver. I like to avoid driving if I can. Uh, and then, like... Oh, my God, these are building jump scares. I can't see fucking anything. In a van with, like, at least, what, three, four other people? I can't remember how many people came with us. Yeah, and this was our, like, friend that I, like, haven't really kept up with much like up until that he was just like hey yeah i'm going to you, you know we're, go? we're going to you want to go to pack sure uh yeah my mom's letting us use uh the the family van cool there's this giant blizzard on the way up to boston uh so we're thinking about stopping i was like no like, I'll we can fucking driving. make it keep going and they're like okay if you want to i know i've told this yeah. story like and a we were all like ah this snow seems too dense i don't want to chance it i don't want a chance driving it and, but like if someone else wants if someone else like that's the stupid thing now that I think back uh, It's just this thing where it's like I'm going this seems too dangerous to drive in But if someone else wants to drive in it, I'll be in the car <laughs> I just don't want to be the one Look, driving yeah, yeah, you just don't want the blood on your hands But if <laughs> yeah. your blood is on Look, someone else we're all hands, gonna die together. That's fine I just don't want it to be my fault and if it's any of your fault <laughs> yeah, I'm not gonna, gonna be hold, really I'm embarrassing gonna when they all hold it over yeah. me like I'm not gonna you know hold you personally uh, accountable if something happens, but I don't want to be the one that I would hold accountable. But, but yeah, but you you braved that snowstorm and everything turned out fine. No one died. I think I'm a pretty good driver, and I feel like I have said that enough times to where I have undone the superstition uh, boogeyman that uh, was just like, oh, well, now, I said it Now that you've said it, now it's coming for you. No, nah, it's just... But see, now I've that never you've been said in an accident, that, I've always done it. I've coming. always been a good driver. You see, now that you've invoked the gremlins and told them that you don't believe, I've told yeah. them that I don't believe yeah, in them. They're going to make themselves when down. They're going to jump you. Yeah, and guess what? It ain't going to be my fault. And I'm getting that fucking yeah, insurance yeah, money. And then I'm you got you rear-ended someone. <laughs> <laughs> but they were driving in reverse. The judge yeah. said so. <laughs> oh my God! Slow down there, Yay! buddy! Fuck! Good times. So. There you go. There were the gremlins. At it again. <laughs> That's a good episode, yeah. ending. <laughs> like, I literally didn't try to do that. That was so stupid. <laughs>